What's up? What's up? Actually, I'm going to turn the camera around right away. Vaping Bachelor, what's up? What's up? Redneck, what's up? Casey, what's up? So, I have an idea of what to do tonight. Um, but I'm open to uh, if anybody has any questions on a build to do. Or whatever. I'm open for suggestions. If not, I have something that I could do. So, if nobody has any questions, if nobody wants to see me do anything, I'm probably going to just do a build that I would like to um, take nice photos of and put on Instagram after I'm done here. Uh, it would be a pretty cool build, I think, as long as everything goes well. A variation on something that I've done before, but um, a little more complicated. Uh, who else is here? Mark, what's up? AVG, what is up? Jim Minion, what's up? Dwayne, what's up? So I'll say it again. Yeah, so far Brad saying let's just see what I'm going to do. Um, but once again, I'm putting the offer out there if there's anything anybody's having problems with. Randy, what's up? Jeremy, what's up? Anything that anybody wants to see, let me know. If not, I'm going to just move on and do what I'm going to do. I guess I'll explain to you what I was going to do. So I'm going to do a zipper coil inside of... A zipper coil inside of a Stagger Fuse Clapton. I'm going to skip fuse it and then I may, depending on how well that goes... I may put some other kind of frames on the outside of that and fuse in the spaces. So, that was what I think I'm going to do. So, I've done the um, skip fused, uh, or the zipper stagger fuse clapping before. And they're a pretty cool coil. They vape extremely well. I was doing it with... Um, I believe I was doing it with stainless steel for a while. Yeah, I was doing it with stainless steel zipper. Hey, <laughs> Bill, Uncle, uh, Uncle Raven, a cock ring, right? And, um, yeah, zippers are awesome. Um, I was even talking about zippers. If anybody didn't watch the show last night, Fresh's show, go check it out. It was, uh, Jesus. It was me, Ramo to you, and, um, Vape Rye on with the regular pan, with the regular panel. So go check out Fresh O3's YouTube channel. I believe that's the third show I did on there with them. Yeah, it was the third show I did there. It was a pretty pretty good show last night. Pretty fun. But I talked about zippers and how they're they're still like a very good build. If you if you want to build, that's just a real good vape, especially for like a regulated mod, something that's not so low in the ohms. Um, 
a nichrome 28 gauge zipper so I'm gonna do a zipper right now so if you wanted to try out this zipper that I'm talking about you would use 28 gauge and do the same thing as I'm as I'm about to do if you don't know what a zipper is it's two twisted wires that are twisted separately and when you put them together there's an illusion made that almost looks like a zipper track yeah that strawberry killer custard I can't wait to try it either I have not got to try it I'm vaping this stuff today. I'm pretty disappointed. This Franken Skull is a clone. And it's since day one, I bought two. I bought one for me and one for my buddy. And my buddy's works fucking perfect. <laughs> this one, the um the pin in it, the pin that connects to the RDA, I don't want to take it out because it's gonna mess up. Um the pin in it doesn't reach almost any of my RDAs. I have to kind of rig it and make it loose for it to reach my RDAs. And then I put the RDA on and I can't take it off. But it was like $18, so I can't complain too much. But I got to get a new squonk box. I'm going to go um, and get one that's not a clone. I wasn't sure if I would like them, but I do like them. I got the Gorge on here. I was actually going to do a video on the gorge. I still might. But alright, let me get started. I don't want to happen what happened last week and when I start to build, I'm already an hour into the video. So first I'm going to get my zipper wire ready. Vaping Dragons, what's up? Jeffrey, what's up? Andrew, what's up? These guys froze once. Tell me how it is after a little bit. I'm pretty sure my uh if if you guys all if you guys all want to like go refresh, go ahead. Maybe something's going on. It looks like my service is good on my phone. So if these guys want to refresh, I'll wait a minute. That's what I'll do. I'm going to wait exactly one minute. If you guys want to refresh, go ahead. Jump out, jump back in. I actually think I took care of my, uh, that little ant problem I was having. I did some weeding in the backyard. I sprayed some chemicals. I had some vines growing up the side of the house. I think they were climbing up that thing. And going into my air condition. But I haven't seen them in a while. I see one every like every couple days. I'll see one straying around. I also closed up my air condition a little more too.
Yeah, it's a scout looking for the e-juice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything on my end's good. Because usually I get, if I have a connection problem, I mean, maybe there's a lot of activity on YouTube or something. Who knows? Sometimes that happens. Um, but I see my, my bar. Vaping dragons, did I see your top comment? Oh, baking powder on the, okay, alright. Maybe I could put that around my window. See, I live in the city, and we, we, get, we get these little sugar ants. But almost every year, like, everybody gets them. But, um... You know, I live in the city, but I have a pretty green backyard compared to most people. So, they come through the back, and one of my... One of my windows in my bedroom is directly to the backyard. I should say in my office. So I'm using 30 gauge Canthal because it's the only 30 gauge I have. And that's fine, there ain't nothing wrong with it. I just gotta get used to the stretch on Canthal because I keep doing that. It's not like Nichrome where there's a little bit of a soft feel to it, where it stretches very easily. So, what you gotta do, which I keep not doing because I'm so used to the feeling of Nichrome, is when I get Nichrome, right, and I go to stretch it. When I go to stretch Nichrome, I grab it like this, I bend, and then I pull, and with Canthal, I don't think that's a good idea to bend it. it. Seems like every time I don't bend it with the Canthal, everything goes good. But it's just second nature anymore to just go and bend it right away. Yeah. So I got five pieces, I need one more. Zippers can be made out of any two or more twisted wires. It doesn't matter. The more uniform they are, the more of the effect you'll get out of it. So I'm doing three pieces on each twisted wire. So... I'm going to take three of these pieces. I'm going to get them lined up in my fingers. And I'm just going to bend all three in the same direction. I'm going to get my drill put that bend in my drill then I'm just gonna run my fingers down making sure all these wires stay straight and all three are laying down and then at the end I'm gonna grab it with my needle noses and bend it around the back of my needle noses so I have some kind of handle with my needle noses I'm gonna put my drill in the forward and it's 
very important to remember which way you twist which wire. So my drill was in the forward position. I'm holding little tension right now, starting off slow. Once I get a nice even twist down this, I'm going to pull a little more tension away from the drill. I'm going to twist it more until everything looks even and I get my desired twist. Most people just go and twist these all the way, and you can do that. You can just twist it until it can't twist no more. It breaks off at the chuck. But I kind of like mine a little loose. All right, so everything's even. I got a nice twist on there. So now I'm going to, at about an inch away from my needle nose, snip this. And that's going to get rid of the recoil. That happens when you usually just let go. So this is my forward twist. Um, I'm going to leave the 90 degree bend on there. That went into my drill so I can remember forward twist. I'm going to take the other three wires. Do the same thing. Only I'm going to twist it in the opposite direction. I'm going to get the end here of all three wires, put a bend in it, get my drill, put them three wires in the chuck, grab them three wires, pull and hold. Grab at the end, bend. Make sure that my drill is in reverse or the opposite direction as you did the first. Little tension and start. Once you got a nice even twist, you can start pulling a little more tension. And go faster with the drill. Once I think that I'm around the same twist, I'm going to take my other one and see how close I am. So the one on the drill, i got to twist a little more. <clears throat> so you just line them up and see if the twists in them look around the same size. And this looks pretty damn good. Yep, they're pretty even right there. Go about an inch down and cut. What's up, Toos? I'm doing um I'm doing a zipper. Yeah, what's up, clean as fuck coils? And right now I'm making a yeah zippers inside of a stagger fuse clapton. I'm going to skip fuse it, and then as long as my skip fuse goes good, as long as my time's okay, and as long as my spacing's good, I'm gonna frame it again and fuse in the gaps. All right, so I got both wires here. This is my reverse wire, the one I just put down. This is my regular twist wire. I wonder if this will work. I know I tried this last week. It's 
I got a magnifying glass in front of my phone right now. Instead of putting the macro on. So you see the twists are pretty even. All right, so I don't need these 90s in here anymore. I'm gonna cut them off and my zipper's ready. So fairly simple build. Um, if you wanna just do a regular zipper, like I said, with a 28 gauge, you could do one of two things. You could just hold them parallel and wrap them like this, all right? Or you could wrap one tight all right, and then the next one you squeeze in the gaps and wrap inside the gaps and you'll get your zipper coil. Um, if you're really interested in a zipper coil, go over to Twisted Messages page. He does an awesome tutorial on the zipper. Um, that was like one of my favorite build videos when I was uh, learning. I gotta learn how to put links in the bottom of my videos. I'm pretty sure it's not too hard, but I've never done it, so. Once I learn how to do them links, I'm gonna start putting links to shit I talk about. How has the video been doing? Anybody still freezing or buffering, or is it going pretty well? Yeah, that sucks. So I'm actually going to turn the camera around to show you guys me doing this spaced wire because I actually been using something else to space my wire. I'm always experimenting with the loop method. So, um, yeah, let me turn my camera around and show you what I've been doing lately. Plus, I want to put my air on for a couple minutes. And when my phone's in this setup, it's literally right next to my air condition. So, turn the camera around. Oh man, did I have it like this the whole time? Shit. What way is my video? Is my video... Shit. I did it the wrong way. Yeah. So when I go sideways, it's fucking, it's got, does it have two black lines on the side?
two black lines, Casey. Shit. Ugh, that sucks. Oh, well. When you turn the video on... Damn. When you turn the video on, you have to put your camera the way that you want it as you turn it on. If you don't, if you put it like this, I'm going to have the black lines through the whole fucking thing. Which really sucks because the screen isn't wide. If I could do that. Yeah, if you go full screen, maybe you'll be all right. But I got this this um, macro lens, or not macro, wide screen lens now. It's still going to be black on the sides. All right, how about this? That's what we'll do. All right, so this is going to be part one. We're going to go to part two. Um, so I'm going to hop out of this video, restart another video, and that'll be, uh, yeah, that'll be part two of this video. So let me restart, get the camera the proper position. And uh, I'm going to hop right back into another video. All right.